born from the night's dead womb is the age-old wrath of the slave. Scarlet and awesome his ire, like fire, deep amidst darkness and mists. From dusky valleys before the day dawns, from every mountain, from barren scrub, from hungry farmland, from hovels of mud, from village and town, from farmyard, cottage and croft, factory, warehouse and rail yard, from barn and farm, mill and workshop, power plant, shop floor. By road and winding lane, high up by scree and gorge, rocky peak and ridge, by field path and hillside, along rocky cliffs, through autumn yellow woods, over boulders and water and turbid ditch, through meadows and gardens, cornfields, vineyards, shady sheepfolds, hawthorn, burnt stubble, brambles, marshes, ragged, muddy, hungry, sullen, haggard from toil, coarsened by heat and cold, misshapen, crippled, tangle-haired, barefoot, scarred, simple folk, savage, angry, frenzied, without roses and song, without music or drums, without clarinet, kettle drums, lanterns, French horns, trombones, trumps. On their backs, tattered packs, in their hands no gleaming swords, but simple sticks. Sophiites with cudgels, with bars, with goads, with picks, with pitchforks, with hatchets, with axes, with scythes and sunflowers. Old and young, a flood tide from everywhere, like a blind herd let loose, numberless raging bulls, shouting, howling, behind them the night's stony vault, Forward they flew in disorder, irresistible, terrible, great, the people. Night scattered amidst the brilliance on the peaks. The sunflowers gazed on the sun. Dawn awoke from sleep to the rattle of machine guns from distant hillsides. Crack after crack came the lash of mad bullets and lead. Cannon like elephants' jaws roared. Trepidation and fear. The sunflowers dropped in the dust. Vox populi, vox dei. Stabbed by a thousand knives, the people, dulled, degraded, lower even than a beggar, left without brain, without nerve, rose up from the troubled darkness of its life and with its blood wrote, free. Chapter 1. September. Vox populi, Vox Dei. O God, support thou the sacred work of coarsened black hands. Pour thou boldness into our pounding hearts. Thou wishest no man a slave. Behold, we swear by our grave we shall raise up man free. Yes, free in the world. Ahead of us is death, so let it be. But beyond, Canaan blooms promised to us by truth, eternal spring of a living dream. We believe, we know, we wish it thus. God is with us. September. September. O oh, month of blood of upsurge and rout. Maglish was first, Stara and Nova Zagora, Chirpan, Lom, Ferdinand, Berkovitsa, Sarambe, Medkovets, with the priest Andrei, 
townships and villages. The nation rose up with a stick in its hand, covered in soot and in sparks and in cinders, with a sickle amidst furrows, damp and cold to the marrow. The folk of black toil with ineffable suffering, not geniuses, intellects, demonstrators, agitators, speechifiers, aviators, entrepreneurs, restaurateurs, musicians, morticians, generals, writers, pedants and blackguard fighters, but peasants, workers, unsophisticates, have-nots, illiterates, simple and coarse, hooligans and boars, a rabble like beasts, thousands, masses, the people. Thousands of faiths, faith in the people's rise, thousands of wills, will to a happy life, Thousands of turbulent hearts, a fire in every heart. Thousands of blackened hands in the wide red expanse, eagerly raising red banners unfurled high, wide, over the whole land rocked by unrest and alarm, frenzied fruit of the storm. Thousands, masses, the people. A flash over the native Balkans, with their navels turned to the sky, and the eternal sun. Lightning flashed. Thunder crashed straight into the heart of the giant hundred-year-old oak. Hill after hill, onward dispatched the rapid echo over ridges and boulders, to steep-sided valleys, into rocky crannies, those fiery beds where vipers and grass snakes sleep in coils, into the caves of dragon brood, into the hollow tree trunks of witches. And the thunder merged with the distant echo, thunder and roar of waterfalls, torrents and streams, with thunder and hiss furiously hurtling down the abyss. The tragedy begins. The first fell in blood. The rebellious surge was met by lead. The flags dropped riddled. The mountain reverberated. Up there on hills far and near appeared men, swelling black ranks, regular paid troops these, an enraged police. They all understand. The fatherland is in danger. Very fine, but what is the fatherland? and the machine guns are furiously barking. The first fell in blood. Beyond distant hills came the crash of artillery. Towns and villages shook. Dead bodies, blood-drenched piles, covered hillsides and roads. With drawn swords, cavalry squadrons pursued routed peasants. Shattered and shot by shrapnel and mortar, scattered in terror in all directions, chased to their homesteads and hacked down with bloody swords under low eaves amidst the shrieks of terrified mothers and children and wives. The troops advanced under the terrible crump of shrapnel. Even the bravest quailed. In despair, bare hands were raised to heaven. Horror without glory froze on every face. Eyes without tears. Everyone save himself. By every road, company follows company. Infantry, cavalry, artillery, Drums beat the charge, panic high and large, above the torn scarlet banners, the crimson whip of fire is born. There, as chaos progressed, alone, like a man possessed, bold like a hero of old, 
the priest Andre fired shell after shell from the famous gun. At last, yelling, death to Satan, with magnificent wrath he turned his cannon. His final shot he dispatched straight at the house of God, where he'd sung litany and liturgy. Then he surrendered. Hang him by a length of rope, no cross or grave for the Red Pope. He was taken to a telegraph pole. By it stood the hangman, the captain. The noose was ready. The Balkans were shrouded in cloud. The sky was cruel. The priest stood erect to his full size, all calm as granite, without lament, without remembrance. Christ's cross on his breast, his gaze on the crests far away, as though to the future. You fearfully lower your eye at the moment a man died, you butchers. But what is the death of one man? Amen. He spat at their feet. Quickly he himself slipped the noose round his neck, and without a glance at the sky he dangled tongue clenched in his teeth, strangled. Great. Sublime. Unattainable. Autumn flew by in wild shreds of wailing and gale and night. Storm broke loose over dark mountains. Blackness and flash and the croaking of ravens. A sweat of blood broke from the earth's back. Cottage and hut cowered in fear. Death rides here. Thunder rent the sky asunder. That was the start of the worst horror. Frenzied with fury, alarm bells rang out in each heart, struck, pealed, rang. Night fell on the land, with silence and terror confined on all sides. Death, a bloodthirsty witch lurking in every dark corner, shrieked as far and wide with her dry, bony fingers. So long, oh, so long, she seized tore apart each terrified heart behind every wall. O oh, night of nameless dark scenes, some hidden, some seen. Village squares, once more stained scarlet with blood, the rattle of death from throats cruelly cut, the ill-boding clanking of chains, jails crowded again. From prison yards, barrack squares, come the shout of commands. Volleys ring out. Doors are locked. Strange visitors hammer at them. The son, with pistol cocked, lies dead on the threshold. Father hanged, sister defiled. Peasants driven from villages escorted by troops. A dismal convoy bound for the firing squad. A voice rings out. Halt! Fire! A clicking of bolts. Coo! Clucks! Clan! Fire! Bang! Ten bodies heavily tumbled from the river bank into the turbid dead waters of the Maritza. Discoloured with blood, the river in sorrow bears them on its flood. An army band in a deserted street brooms out. Maritza, river sweet. River of blood. In trampled fields amidst thorns, among thistles and tall grasses, roll crimson heads with mutilated faces. 
gallows stretch out their black arms, spectres in deathly haze. Ceaseless the terrible march of the axe as it strikes against bone. Farmsteads ablaze light up the horizon, torrents of blood still flow, pyres with fiery glow. With blasphemous tongue of flame, like the sacred frame of God's throne, a smell of flesh burning, a horrified shout rings out from the blessed in paradise, a savage hosanna to God. The end. The hurricane has passed. The storm has stopped at last. Peace and quiet have fallen on the whole land. A bloody sacrifice to the gods. Sing, O muse, of the fateful wrath of noble Achilles. Achilles was brute force, a military demon. Achilles was the senior general of H.I.M. King Agamemnon. Achilles was a hero, with countless crosses and orders and ribbons, the pillar of peace and order in the land. But we today no longer believe in heroes, neither foreign nor our own. Troy was burnt down and sacked. Priam and Hecuba perished. Achilles triumphed. What's Hecuba to him? His soul is wild and grim. He does not hear the crying of the Holy Mother, distraught over nameless graves bedewed with blood that have sprung up in a moment, so many, numberless. What's Hecuba to him? Achilles was a hero. Achilles was great, a divine scourge sent by God. Yet Achilles will perish under wrath and curses. And he perished, he died a shameful death. Just vengeance on a killer. Agamemnon killed Ephigenia and perished. Clytemnestra killed Agamemnon and perished. Orestes with Electra killed Clytemnestra and perished. Left alone, standing and enduring. Through centuries is Cassandra the prophetess. She prophesied retribution, and everything came to pass. Constant diversion, game and entertainment of the gods, eternal flowering of divine viciousness. Every death to them is amusement, all tears a joke, death, murder and blood. How long? How long? All-powerful Zeus, Jove, Akura Mazda, Indra, Toth, Ra, Jehovah, Zeboeth, answer me. From smoke and flames rise to your ears the cries and screams of the dead, the howl of numberless martyrs on stakes of burning wood who betrayed our faith. Answer me. You're silent. You don't know. We do know. Behold, with one leap, with one nod, we jump straight into heaven. Down with God. We hurl a bomb at your heart. We'll take your heaven by storm. Down with God. And from your throne, we dispatch you dead down to the depths of the universe unstarred iron hard down with god by heavenly bridges high beyond measure with towers embrasured we'll bring paradise down to earth this grief overgrown blood overflown earth of ours all that was written by poets and philosophers shall come true that day without god Without master, September will be May. Human life will be one endless forward drive. Higher still, higher still, Earth will be paradise. It will be.